Supporters and opponents of President Donald Trump are rushing to defend Trump's deputy at the U. S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, Lee Francis Cisna.Sen. Chuck Grassley tweeted in support of Cisna, who is facing immediate firing as Trump cleans house at the Department of Homeland Security, according to a wide series of media reports. Trump has already fired Kirst Jan Nielsen and replaced her with Kevin McAllenon, the commissioner of the Customs and Border Protection Agency within DHS. Many media reports say Trump also plans to fire the DHS's acting deputy leader Claire Grady and DHS general counsel John Mitnick. Cisna is also on the chopping block, even though Trump's critics say Cisna has done a very good job for Trump. Cisna's agency handles a vast amount of tasks, including curbing fraud by migrants, developing and implementing asylum reforms, overseeing the citizenship process, and tracking the visa worker programs, which keep a population of more than one. Five million white-collar workers in U.S. jobs. Cisna is the best thing that has happened to that agency since was created, said Dan Stein, president of the Federation for American Immigration Reform. Under President Barack Obama, it was taken over by people who thought it was their job to rubber stamp work visa applications to always get to yeses. But now Cisna is applying the law, said Stein. Cisna is also backed by Mark Krikorian, the director of the Center for Immigration Studies, which favors Trump's higher American policy. Moreover, Krikorian's argument in favor of Cisna is backed by an advocate for cheap labor immigration, Alex Norris to at the Cato Institute, who bitterly opposes Trump's pro-American immigration policies.